Star Trek will not be presented tonight so that we may bring you the following special program. Now, a special program in living color on NBC. I've always loved Thailand, ever since my mom took me to see The King and I when I was a little girl. I didn't realize then that my mother was on assignment and used taking her daughter to the movies as cover, but that's another story. Thailand, a land of mystery, beauty, tradition, the best Penang chicken in the world, made by an 80-year-old street vendor named Irving Akarat, who was also a double agent on the side. I finished my assignment early, a routine pickup, and then decided to enjoy my cover as a tourist for a few days. It also gave me some time to catch up on my journal. Chapter 22. Helga Kleinschmidt was a top Chinese fashion model and them agent who infiltrated a secret they modeling agency. She had plenty of talent, but was seriously lacking in the luck department. Since I had modeling experience, it was my turn to bat to infiltrate the enemy agency in the guise of a pinup model. I also gave them a deal on my hourly modeling rate. You can have all the talent, skill, cunning, and experience in the world, but sometimes luck just isn't your talent agent that day. What's a girl gotta do to get a sandwich around here? Okay, so I got nabbed. But fortunately they didn't know who I was and sent for the interrogation team to find out. The funny thing about Lady Luck is that sometimes she kicks you in the head with an iron boot and sometimes she does smile on you. My mother always told me that one of the hazards of our trade was unresolved business. Loose ends would always come back to bite you in the ass. Her words, not mine. It was three months since I had rescued the Fez from Zombie Island. 
Things were quiet on the espionage scene, and I was just getting home from my short-lived escapade as a pinup model. Freeze! Nice outfit. Oh, just something I threw on to run to the grocery store. <laughs> Amusing, Miss West. Oh, you have the wrong person. I'm actually Andrea. Andrea Green... Bum... Berg. Sandra West went to mime school and was never heard from again. Make one false move, and I will blow you right out of those lovely Louis Vuittons. Oh, I see you know your shoes, miss. Don't you remember me? Finding you was a piece of cake for the world's greatest tracker. Who's that? Me. I'm the world's greatest tracker. Wait, I think I, I do remember you. You're uh, the... The aardvark? No, 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 uh, the, the mountain goat. No. The swine? Okay, don't, don't tell me. Um, the, the platypus? The hyena! Oh, so close. <sighs> Any sneaky weapons or booby traps, Miss West? Hmm, not tonight. Wait, didn't I? Or somebody shoot you? You shot my assistant, and my assistant accidentally shot me. It was an exceptionally good shot. No. <laughs> well, thank you, but not good enough. Must be losing my touch. So now what? You gonna take me back to they? They fired me, thanks to you. I work for Worldwide Evil now. But I'm going to take you back to Sumeru myself. Collect the rewards for my troubles. That? How you gonna get me there, honey? The easy way, Miss West. Mm-hmm. <laughs>